Okay, and we're good to go. I'm recording this with a live stream device. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a tip on how to make a really wet, wet sort of generic y kind of bass like this. <laughs> Yeah, here's what it sounds like on its own. Yeah, it's kind of a quick example. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make it. So just, I made it with Massive. You, it's going to load up an edition of Massive because that's all anyone who does dubstep uses. And you want to set all three oscillators to negative 12 like this. And you want the first one on grown 2 with Ben plus minus with the wavetable position pointing at the W in wavetable position right there and the intensity pointing at the Y right there. And leave the filters as they are. And on the second one, you're going to want a digigrain 2. This is sort of where the wet kind of sound comes from. This also goes on Ben plus minus. And this points right towards the top of the intensity knob. And the intensity points at the T, because I'm just really technical like that. And your amp goes, points just above this bit. Super technical. And it sounds like this so far. Sounds like a retarded alien or something, I don't know. And next, we want a Melophant, whatever it is, sound. Melomantic, there we go. That's No, that's not it. It's Melophant, like an elephant, but not, not that. Anyway, it's just pointing past the T for the amp, and the intensity is pointing at the I in intensity. W T position pointing at the eye right there. Alright, so we want to go over to an LFO at this point, which we will set to performer and it'll go like that. And the way a performer works is essentially the same as an uh, as an envelope, which goes up like that anyway. Uh, so an envelope is like your, your attack, this is the thing fading in rather quickly, this is the sustain, and that's the release, which I accidentally did that to. Um, works the same way, except it just does it over and over again. Pretty simple, right? Anyway, we are going to modulate the crap out of this. Intensity, not the way, we, uh, intensity to there, and that one's just all the way up. And the amp, we're actually going to modulate that back so it goes quieter a little bit so it doesn't compete with everything else. And then we're going to do this just a little bit. Uh, then we'll just modulate it back there and there. And it sounds like this so far. <laughs> And it's a little too slow, so you want to put it up to 8. Whoops. Uh, so we just want it doing that. And that's just the wavetable positions at this point. Now we're going to get into the filtering, which is the part that gives it the sort of ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah sound. And you won't want to put that on a double notch and a band reject filter. A uh, little production secret here. I'm actually looking at an image of the patch on my phone. My memory isn't that good. So you put that up to about the O and you put that up just slightly. And the bandwidth goes to about the middle. Just a hair of it away from that. And it goes to about there. And the resonance goes to just past 9 o'clock. This goes just at about 11 o'clock, we just modulate that up to there, and that up to there. <laughs> Sound a little closer now, aren't we? Now, next part, we're going to go on to the hard clipper in insert 1, which goes to about there, and up to there. So, 
just above 9 o'clock, and to the D. Doesn't do much, but it helps. And a bit crusher, which we modulate up to the, to about 11 o'clock. With the same LFO. This is take. Now we go on to the effects. Go Tele-Tube, and just to the D, and leave... Now, there seems to be a couple things missing so far, and that's a chorus effect, which I put up to about there. Okay, maybe it wasn't about there, it was about there. And an EQ, which I popped up to... So what did I do next? I put the pan position to about there and didn't touch the pitch cut off at all. And the next bit is in this sort of area. She just from memory, it's just that. And that is to keep it consistent, so the oscillators, they all time at different, they all activate at different times, but with this, they all activate at whatever time you uh, say you want it to activate, so that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. And that brings us on to uh, the modulation oscill oscillator, 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 Ugh, words, and no ring mod. And a phase on number three, which goes up to about there. Less. Um, I'm actually doing quite a bit from memory, because... Because I don't quite remember how some things went. Uh, and the voicing is right where it should be, and that's... About it. That is the sound you're looking for. So if I were to copy that, it should sound roughly the same. So let's see if it does, because I might not have done this right, because I'm very amateur. And you'll have to excuse me, because I'm silly. So what's it sound like? And that's the sound. Uh, if you want, uh, don't let anyone tell you that you can't put reverb on a bass. I'll show you how to do that. While I'm at hit, while I'm at this, you can activate a send channel in FL, and all you have to do, little reverb, very little. Uh, and that's it. That's the sound. Hope you learnt stuff from me, because I'm a learner. Teach. Goodbye.